Hello YouTube and welcome back into the tease of a game. We're obviously replaying turn 67 here. Why don't we for posterity's sake make a save to go alongside it uh, and we will replay what we did. Um, I guess slightly smarter. I attacked here. No, this is fine. We'll just redo it the way we did it. All right. Back in. Let's focus. Let's focus and let's win this war, yeah? Yeah, my, my auto saves are also every turn. Don't get to close that, but that's okay. <laughs> that wasn't a save scum. It's not my fault. I played it the same way. I played it the same way. What? Two turns and I can update this. So this time around, we have three turn swordsmen. Gives me 18, 28, 34. We're still a little shy. It's going to be awkward, but I do want to upgrade this next turn probably. Too many swords here for us to really um, do much. So let's pull back a second. I think with, with her having iron and swords, um, we're going to want battle cry over tortoise. Uh, and the thing we didn't get to do is trade for all of her, her iron right before we, we declared. So that's a bit awkward, but... Alright, so now we draw out her swords. And take advantage of our general, plus our military might here. Ready to make that guy. Don't necessarily want to chop out swords. I don't have the iron to sustain it. So let's not. So now we'll take Battle Cry and we'll get extra movement on this. So now we'll have four movement on this sword. Who needs cavalry, huh? I am very interested in getting some of these, um, some archers with incendiaries to help take down walls, especially when we get to crossbows. But now is not that time. We need both of these existing archers to be able to shred units um, like her swords. So we'll kind of get annoying and see if we can come pillage some stuff with scouts or just kind of be generally annoying. So need two more turns before we can do any more swords here. So we could take that time to get a building or something, but I need my third archer uh, and I'm running the policy to, to make this chop quite worth it. So now I have my machinery boost. Plus we start with the thing we're going to start with. As I said, I want some of these to have incendiaries. I could even justify one more archer while we're kind of waiting for more iron.
Why not chop out the Warlord's Throne? Because we don't only we don't get that much chop from the um, from the Rainforest. The Warlord's Throne will be good, uh, but the efficiency comes from that 50% extra production here. Um, so those chops are actually better served chopping units and then building the Warlord's Throne naturally. If you want to worry about efficiency. Now, I realize that the Warlord's Throne comes with a benefit, and we are about to take a city, but I, 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 I stand by my play. Defense. You built us the Hanging Gardens? That's lovely. Thank you. I'm not really going to be able to siege Cahokia here. So I think we just lay into it. Use our war road. Were we able? So we didn't actually... Did she declare on me one turn before I established my trading post? Nope. We got it here. Um, so, if we look at if we look at our, our under under where it says swordsman there, we should have a diplo visibility bonus, but we don't. That's weird. So, what did you do to get a diplo visibility over me? Because we're not getting that combat strength. Got to go to mercenaries for some upgrades, probably. I don't think they ever did send us... Like, she was trying to send us a trade route, but they don't... Uh, they don't establish right away, so she shouldn't have been able to get it. That's weird. That's weird. Does she have printing already? Oh, that could be it. Yeah, maybe she does. She's in the medieval era. No, because she'd be in the renaissance era, right? I don't know. I don't know where that's coming from. No, you're, the diplo visibility you get from envoys goes away when you declare war, but not the ones you get from trading posts. It should say that we have a trading post with her from our cap. Like, we have the era score for it. Right? Right here. So that should be three combat strength, and I'm not seeing it. And and she never sent us one. Like, we checked the uh, routes to my cities. And there was nothing. Delegation goes away, though, when, when you declare war. So it doesn't count. All right, we're done with Victor. We don't need Victor anymore. I am very much interested in starting to catch up on science and culture. That's where we're struggling right now, for sure. Uh, Liang makes sense for the extra builder. Magnus makes sense for the extra chops. But I think I'm happy to grab a Pingala and toss him down here. Maybe that's why it crashed. Maybe. Actually, that that's interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know enough to think if that's a reasonable assertion or not. So we could start to get some money, um, some gold per turn. We are starting to have some unit maintenance, minus 11. So that's a reasonable add-in. We would be giving up the food and production for it. I don't think I'm ready to do that quite yet. No, my, no, the, no, <laughs> no. Yeah, everyone everyone benefits from extra combat visibility. It's just amplified as Mongolia. I promise. All right. I'd like to liberate them, but I don't like how liberating city-states work. They get way too many tiles, and that upsets me. So I'm going to keep this city. It will be occupied for us. No, no. 
Also not true. Doesn't look like it's telling me what I want. If we look at Mongolia, does it make more sense? See, receive an extra, receive an extra level of diplomatic visibility for possessing a trading post in, post in any city in a, of a civilization. So I think that's what tells me that it works for everybody. And I, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure it works for everybody. Yeah, where's Carl when we need him? Heal up our units. Who, as I said. I sent it to London. Yeah, it's excess level none. Here, raise your access level. You can establish a trade route. Establish a trading post. Oh, it is as Mongolia. Okay. 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 You guys are right. Wow. Learn things every day. I love it. I love learning. Seems good to me. All right, what are we building here? I'd like to start getting campuses. The water mills are Eureka. Let's grab it. Yeah, crossbows are real, real bad for us. Leave our general there. Uh, Blazka, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. So we pick up a holy site and a bunch of Eurekas, which translates to era score for us. That's a good thing. Uh, I did just grab Pingala, but I think Pingala has got to come down here and help us hold this city. And we need to grab leads very quickly here. down. I need two more iron. Can you sell me two iron? You can sell me exactly two iron, but you won't? <sighs> You're rude. You're rude, Dido. Come on. I just need two. You have the exact amount. <laughs> uh, size 16. Thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Should probably lock in this campus for the time being. I could build it real quick too. I think I want the throne now. I don't know that I have enough units. Let me get 
get that eventually. I might not be able to do that. Is it worth moving Victor? It might be. We're at Rebellion in 17 turns now. We're only falling by, by three. Only falling by three. Warlord Stone gives us a 5% production boost in our whole empire. Um, or sorry, 20% production boost for all cities for five turns after you take a city. I know, I, I know. I started saying that now, Martel. <laughs> Welcome in. I don't know why I enjoy it. Hey, England, what's going on with your game? You having a hard time? It's ready to come up. She got walls. She got walls immediately. Uh, that's fine. Let's go get... Let's go get a couple things. Fourteen turns on my own crossbows. Yikes. That's a bit yikes. So, let's get our quarry, unlock our plantations as well. This is terrifying. She's got a general too. have to kill this crossbow. It's really annoying. All right. Secured our heroic age already. We kind of want the era to end now. Uh, there's a lot of era score left on the table here with taking Eng England's capital, wiping her out, etc., etc. Whatever. Twilight Valor is effectively useless. Um, you can't heal outside your territory. It's really bad. Um, it can be really, really awkward, I think. What if we just try to move on leads? Is that better? I think that might be better. Because I need time to get my um, battering ram now. <laughs> and then there's also this happening. Uh, hold on. Hold on. It's going to be fine. It's all going to be fine. Thousands have lived.
think she took the crossbow to her cap, which makes sense. No, it's 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 you can't heal outside my territory. So if I try to heal in neutral territory too, I can't do it, right? All right. Back to crossbows, hopefully. There's that crossbow. It's so scary. I think that sword might be dead. Rip my trade route. Rip my trade route. All right, let's go for a policy switch at mysticism then. So what do we lose there? A sword and my regular archer against this crossbow. As I said, these crossbows are terrifying. turns on that. <clears throat> we'll see how we get how far we get here. Uh SC Martim, thanks for the follow. Can Sue's Laventa. Although I don't need the era score, so we shouldn't. I do like Laventa. So two units lost there. That's not great. <laughs> I was wondering why that was still there. Hey, Zendark. Each of his I like to say I now the crossbow is in the city center. This is our time. I'm light on units now, though. Yeah, okay, Gargan. As soon as we make peace, we can we can the occupied goes away because they have to trade it to you. We lost our trade out there. We knew we would. All right, I definitely don't need this. I don't know how I feel about Twilight Valor. It may be helpful here. We could try it. You can try it. Usually not a big fan, though. We're going to probably lose Liverpool unless we can really take leads really quickly here. Oh, 
Oh, and see, now I can't heal, right? But I guess now I get to kill this, but now I'm going to lose this unit. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't like the way that Twilight Valor works. Keeping your units healthy is one of the absolute keys of Civ 6. At least we got the crossbow. Yeah, I know. Should have put it in the car before we attack leads, I realize. Taking out that crossbow is big. Yeah, you can, Hogue, but I'm not really in that kind of a... That's not helping me too, too much. Feudalism boost. All right, so now I think it's appropriate to bring Victor up for that extra loyalty. And so now between the two of them, we're actually holding loyalty. So Victor plus Pingala here will actually be able to hold these and get them going. Which means we're probably done producing some units for a while. That doesn't feel right. Let's get our trade route back, I guess. Making progress, though. Ooh. Another crossbow. That's not great. That is not great. Yep, I'm losing all my bows. End of the era is coming, though. Four turns away. That's not too bad. Um, we're going to need to... We need to reevaluate this and see where we're at. Because I'm just not sure we have the firepower to close this out. Even with crossbows coming in five. Maybe I need to be making a couple more bows then. They're not going to have promotions on them, which is really bad. Oh, you could technically build pyramids. I'd rather just have them get that then. Yeah, I'm thinking about leaving London, but there's also all these units here that are probably going to hunt me down. With the advance of few. Okay, that's not bad. I gotta keep making units, I think. Our polders are all the way over here. I don't really have good spots for them, so it doesn't make sense to try to rush up there. We'll just go for mercenaries and continue along. Oh, no, Wolf, you have COVID? Dude, I'm so sorry. Jeez, are you okay? How, how bad is it? How bad is it?
Yabu Usher Lemakumkom. I mean, I have the ram coming. Pretty mild so far. That's good. Glad to hear that. I think I'm going to stick with London. Maybe get a catapult as well. Although it'll probably just die because that's what catapults do on Deity. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, Wolf. That feels awful. Your dad, who's 75, has it? That's so sad. I had a friend that's... Uh, I have a friend whose dad just got out of the hospital. He'd been in the hospital for... Uh, since since Easter, pretty much. Um, and his hospital bill... It's like 1.2 million. His insurance. So he's not going to be on the hook for that. But I will, I will say that every if you have insurance out there, be prepared for your insurance rates to go up like crazy next year, regardless of if you've been sick this year or not. Because I guarantee you that the insurance industry is not going to absorb any of that loss themselves. They're going to pass it on to all of the rest of us. So, <laughs> Yeah, isn't that crazy? Pretty crazy. Uh, no peace. There shall be no peace between us, Victoria. Last turn of the arrow, we're going to hit a, um, a heroic. Our hope is that she goes into a dark, and then maybe we could just let London flip to us. That's maybe the, uh, that's maybe the, the, the best play, best thing that could happen to us. Yeah, there's that too, Nine of Spades. <laughs> yep. I guess I'm finishing this. I really need to start making some more units here in a second. Put the general here so that this guy doesn't get attacked too hard from the encampment. And we can make friends with her. We should definitely do that. Hmm. Heroic age dawns. How about it? There's machinery for some era score to start with Remember this age. And she went into... A normal age. Let's make friends. Let's sell her stuff. And I'm frankly about to hold a capital for a while. So even though, well, Congress is right around the corner. Let's just do it this way. There's a lot of gold per turn, though. That's fine. Okay. So we have crossbows now. I can almost afford two of them. We'll have mercenaries in five in which we can upgrade a few more. So let's see. One... Two, three turns were there. So if we can get in position in three turns, it'd be pretty good. I don't want to get double attacked, but pillaging our horses seems like a good idea. Okay, um, we do have some faith per turn because of our relic. 
And so it's a pretty handy time to grab Monumentality. We we could grab we could absolutely use another few settlers. We have plenty of land to go settle if we want to. Um, land in between to settle, maybe start thinking about Petra again, start start thinking about just kind of the overarching strategy of the game. Um, so we lost our Dark Age policies, so Twilight Valor is no more. Um, I will bring in Conscription, and then are we building more units or no? I think we are, and I think we're going to build a couple crossbows. This is three turns away, and then we'll start working on it. Oh, and I, well, it's a, it's a, it's heroic. So I get all three of these, which is great. Certainly don't need Exodus, but the rest of them will take. So that's pretty nice. Let's get started with those settlers. Picked up a holy site from England too. Maybe go find Niter as well in case this war doesn't die off. Doesn't it make you sick, Paisley? <laughs> Makes me sick. I can't believe religion is still an option, but no, I don't really want a religion here. I don't think I don't think we will would have a, ch a chance of actually getting it. No crossbows, just no crossbows, no crossbows. Cool. We'll vote for ourselves here. Oh, this isn't that one. This is um, I guess gold city states make the most sense. And. 50% reduction in production. Production function. What is your junction? Let's do it. Build me more units. Perfect. What's up, False Promise? How's it going? Uh, Banksy Collective, thanks for the follow. I missed that. Thank you and welcome in. 50% reduction. How about that? And then religious city state. That's interesting. No hour of life is wasted. I don't want to expose my crossbows or my potential crossbows here. Hopefully that guy doesn't die. Civ 6 hard to play. Uh, there's a lot to learn with Civ 6, but I don't think it's particularly hard. It does take some time to learn the systems and, and whatever, but you can also play it on kind of any level and just enjoy it for what it's worth. I love a St. Basil's city down there. I'm going to go settle up there, I think. Please don't kill my sword. There's that crossbow. Nope. Ah, crossbows, man. They are so brutal. <sighs> Another one, too. This is rough. I mean, I mentioned that it would be. We saw her doing military stuff, so it does make sense. Yeah, they're making me a little cross. That is fair to say.
Deity is not so bad. Um, the, the trick to getting good at Deity is just kind of being comfortable being behind. We are, look at us. I mean, don't even look at these numbers. We're, we, we've actually caught up, but we're, we're way behind every other Civ um, in a lot of ways at the moment. So it's really just kind of being comfortable playing from behind, realizing what you can and can't do, um, and then just re re realizing how to optimize your victories. That's pretty much all there is to it. Building block. I, do I even need Pingala down here now? Nope. So you go here. And then I will give you a promotion for culture. Um, That's interesting. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much would you like it if deity changed to give the give the AI less of a head start, but somehow found it to make it be harder throughout the game. I mean, sure, sure. Why not my capital? Um, probably because I'm going to bring Victor back to my capital and produce more units. Because I don't think I need him up there either. But that's a fair question. I could use a builder here to chop. Two eighty for my next settler. It's kind of a ways. That's kind of a ways away, isn't it? You really kind of put me in a weird spot with districting here too. Can't switch tiles, so I don't have a ton of options. Starting to feel a little rough. I think you guys are probably right. I probably should have gone over here. Is that an aqueduct? Nope. Would love to be building pyramids right now, but that is not in the cards. Yeah, she is flooding with crossbows. She is absolutely flooding me with crossbows. Gandhi would be building the pyramids. You're not wrong. If I give you tiles, you're going to take this and maybe something else. We're going to miss our window for suzerains, though. That'll be good in the long run.
I'll just build GDRs. I'm on it. I'll get right there. Give me like 100 turns. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's so punishing, um, Deity Crossbows. They get them so early, and it is, it's amazing what they can do to you. We can do it right back, but it takes us longer to get there. Hey, is Nick. Yep. Yeah, we're, we're in a rough spot with crossbows for sure. Yeah, look at that. Practically one-shotted. Skip the promo. Love terracotta. I can't though. Should probably get a couple horses as well. Just to come up and pillage and like maybe finish off some units and stuff. They're just gonna die to the crossbows though. Tortoise now, I think. Remember the good old days with AI turn 75 crossbows? What do you mean? Like that it took them that long to get there? Because it feels like the AI gets, they get crossbows at like, I've seen them as early as turn 55, which is ridiculous. Hey, soccer man. How you doing, dude? We'll go there. Come on, crossbow. Come. No. Oh, my God. Healing. I like the Lisbon trade route. Let's go from here. There's an argument for signing some peace and coming back or something. Yeah. There's definitely an argument for that. me through why would you not let me through hmm. well thank you and how have we not met other people Blast. Build. <laughs> where is everybody do we have niter we do have niter so we can keep this going with muskets that's reasonable if you get planes as netherlands are they the flying dutchman probably Probably. A 
I don't I don't want to expose my crossbows. Taking tortoise now because crossbows. Uh, and we are going a little long on the video. Oh, really? Okay. Well, we'll do that. We'll, we'll go back on that. We're getting a little long in the video, so thank you so much if you've been watching over on YouTube. Let's put a cut in here for now. Um, eh, kind of an exciting start. England, England, and uh, and and Wilhelmina facing off. Um, we need to get some more cities down. Next turn, I can buy another. I can faith buy another uh, settler if I want to. I can also start producing them and seeing where we can go from here. Going to settle that city for sure. That might even be worthy. I'm not sure. Probably not. Not a lot of worthy cities. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.